Hello, welcome back to our channel. And uh, this time we have brought to you a Pierce oscillator. So remember in our previous model, we talked about a crystal oscillator. We saw how the crystal looks like. It is basically a resonator, which is indicated by a series RLC network in electronics domain. And in the mechanical domain, this component looks like this. And its job is to provide a resonance at a single frequency. And together with the circuit, it can be used as oscillator. So if you are new to the channel, we encourage you to refer back to our previous module on crystal resonators and crystal oscillators. Now, this time we are going to focus on a Pierce oscillator. So it is an oscillator using the crystal resonator, which is connected in a feedback loop, we can build an oscillator. So this circuit of Pierce oscillator is shown in the figure. This is the circuit to create a stable clock frequency of 32 kilohertz using the crystal resonator. So here X1 represents the crystal symbol, which is a resonator. There is a U1 is basically a digital inverter circuit. Simply the job of this inverter is to invert the signal at the input. So if there is a logic zero here, output will be logic one. And if there is a logic one here, output will be logic zero. So it's essentially a high gain amplifier. R1 is used to bias the amplifier and C1 and C2 are there to provide the required phase shift. So remember, we have to sustain the oscillation, produce the oscillation and sustain the oscillation out of this circuit at this output node. So for that, we need to satisfy the oscillation criteria. In other words, we have to satisfy the Barkow sense oscillation criteria, which states that when you have this high gain amplifier and a crystal resonator, and there you form a closed loop, together then the one of the condition of the oscillation is that the closed loop gain that is the gain a multiplied by the feedback loop gain beta that is a times beta should be greater than or equal to one for oscillation to start once uh, you start the oscillation your closed loop gain can be equal to one for a stable oscillation. So the first thing your oscillation will start and then amplitude will start growing. And then the circuit non-linearity in the circuit will saturate the amplifier and therefore the closed loop gain, which is greater than one will get reduced and then it will stabilize for one for a stable oscillation. Second condition of the oscillation is that the closed loop phase shift around the loop should be multiples of 360 degree or exactly zero degree. So it would be the closed uh, loop phase shift will be n times 360 degree. So it can be uh, 700 uh, and 20 degree, 360 degree or just a zero degree n times this one or multiples of two pi radian. Okay, so you have the high gain and inverting amplifier that will give you a phase shift of approximately 180 degree. And these two load capacitors will provide or add another phase shift of 180 degree, making the loop gain is about 360 degree. So here are the two different variations also using the BJT. You can see that there is a crystal and these two are the capacitors. So crystal is connected in this biasing fashion. And in this second circuit, your transistor is connected this way and the crystal is located here and the two capacitors are located here. This crystal is basically this component, okay? Here, again is the symbol of the crystal resonator. And this is an electrical equivalent model that we have already explained in our previous module that represents the equivalent circuit for the crystal resonator. C0 represents the inherent capacitor, capacitor of the crystal resonator and C1, L1, and R1 represents the motional capacitance, motional inductance, and motional resistance, which is required to produce the series resonant frequency, which is equal to F equals to 1 over 2 pi square root LC. 
So L and C are the C1 and L1. So that's the series resonant frequency. The crystal will resonate. Now we move to the next slide. And here again, we see the same crystal resonator, two variations of BJT and the crystal, how to produce the oscillation circuit. And this is the most commonly used in uh, microcontroller uh, boards to produce the frequency of the 32 kilohertz. So this is in your uh, virtually in all the digital IC clock uh, uh, you have the oscillators, which is of this type, which is called as Pierce oscillator. Okay. These two are also the BJT versions of using the oscillators, but this circuit is called as Pierce oscillator. Here, as I said uh, earlier, the R1 is acting as a feedback resistor. Its purpose is to bias the inverter in its linear region for the operation. And it also causes the amplifier to function as a high gain inverting amplifier because there that is what we want okay now we are continuing our discussion about this oscillation so let's say we have satisfied the barkhausen criteria of oscillation so that the closed loop gain is greater than or equal to 1 and the phase shift around the loop is exactly 0 degree or 360 degree or multiples of 360 degree so when this circuit is switched on using the DC power that is required here, we don't have any external signal, but we need a DC power. So when the DC power is switched on, the circuit is initially energized. The only component or the only signal present in this circuit is the noise. And that component of the noise whose frequency will satisfy the phase condition for oscillation is propagated al around this loop with increasing amplitude. And the job of this amplifier to amplify those increasing amplitude signal and the amplitude continues to increase until the amplifier's gain is reduced either by the non-linearity of the active element such as BJT, in sight or by some automatic level control circuit that we used along with this circuit. So first, this is called as startup condition. Okay, so I have described this in three points. So again, you have initially noise, that noise propagates around the loop and one of the signal component of that noise gets amplified by the amplifier until its phase condition meets the oscillation condition. And then oscillation starts to build with increasing amplitude and the gain of this amplifier uh, is high enough so that the circuit non-linearity will reduce the amplitude to make it stable, okay? So hope you understood the basics of Pierce oscillator, how it is working, uh, what are the different types of circuits, how to construct the circuits. This is the common uh, circuit configuration for 32 kilohertz. You want to build this circuit, you just take any high gain amplify inverter circuit and then two values of capacitor. Go to the manufacturer data sheet of crystal resonator. They will give you all the values for the components, how to choose capacitor value and how to choose the resistance and what is the inverter and all that. And after that, you will be able to produce the steady state oscillation if you meet the two condition of the oscillation that we described in this module. So if you like this video, click the like button, uh, put some comments to express your opinion about what you think, share it with others for a wider reach and till then stay tuned for more engaging contents like this and wish you all happy learning.